Good morning. I would like to welcome any of the other children who are in the sanctuary with us to come down and join me for the children's message. And I would like all of us down here to turn around and wave and welcome all of those who are joining with us online. Oh, it, yay. Okay, I have a question for you. Do we sing the same hymns every Sunday in church? Like every week. Yeah. Some no. So the first, the first hymn, do we sing that first hymn every single Sunday? No. Now, okay, before the children's message, we do sing one for a month, but that's not what I'm talking about. We're, so we don't sing the same hymns. And if we sang the same ones every single week, I would kind of get bored. I know that Brian would get really bored. <laughs> He agrees. It would get very, very boring. Um, We sing newer hymns. Sometimes we sing hymns that I've known my entire life, and I don't even need to look at the words. I like it when that happens. But it's also fun to sing the new ones, some brand new that none of us have ever heard before. That's kind of fun, too. So, I mean, in today's scripture lesson, it's Psalm 96, and it says, Sing to the Lord a new song. So it's really great to try new things right? It is great. So we sing new songs in worship sometimes. You guys have started a new school year, right? But why stop there? This is a wonderful time to try all kinds of new things. You could make a new friend at school. You could Try coming to J Street Kids and Club 456 if you haven't done that before. This is a great time. This is kickoff Sunday, and I've heard that there's some really fun stuff. So that's something new if you've never done that before. You could try helping your parents out around the house. That might be something new, right? Yeah, I'm getting some shakes of the head. So, well, today... Our second graders are going to have an opportunity to try something brand new. Our children and youth director, Katie Flood, is going to be presenting our second graders with their very own Bibles. And so this will be a great time to read the Bible and to learn more about God's Word. So, Katie? Hello. Good to be with you all this morning. Does anybody know what this is? It's a Bible. What is it? What, what, it, what does it do? What? It teaches us about God. Yeah, it teaches us about to God. So, to, so our church has a tradition. Do you know what a tradition is? What is it? It's something that you pass down and you keep on passing down. So our church has a tradition, something that we pass down and keep on passing down, to give out Bibles when, um, when you all um, enter into second grade. So if you are somebody who is in second grade, would you come sit by, by Ms. Willis and, my, and myself? Awesome. Okay. G- okay, can you say your name? Okay. Can I say your name? Okay, so we have Anna Grace and Adair. And so I'm going to hand you your Bible, and then we will say... A little prayer. I hope that this is something that um, that you think that you know is very special, and um, that you um, and that it's a way that you remember that this congregation of people loves and cares for you, and that God loves and cares for you. Does that sound good? Okay. So, Adair, this is for you. And Anna Grace, this is for you. And if there's anybody else in the congregation who is a second grader, I have extras if you need them. (laughs) You can come see me at the end. Okay, are you all ready? Can you repeat after me? 
Dear God, thank you for our friends and the way that you love and care for them and for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you a little later.